Hi and welcome to Photo Plus X6. In this quick start tutorial, I'll show you just how easy it is to create professional photo artwork all the way from start to finish. When you open Photo Plus, you'll be greeted with the startup wizard. From here, you can start a new image or animation or begin a HDR photo merge for merging bracketed photos. You can also organise your files using the Photo Plus Organiser, open an existing image, or access online resources, tutorials, guides and support. I'm going to open a photo that I downloaded from my camera earlier. To do this, I'll click Browse and then find my photo and select it. I'd like to crop my photo for printing using the rule of thirds. This is a technique which finds the most balanced composition for a photo. Let's start by selecting the crop tool and then checking the thirds grid box on the context toolbar. I want my photo to fit a 7x5 photo frame, so I'll choose this option from the drop down list. By clicking and dragging, you can see that a grid appears. This grid can be resized using the resize handles and moved into place if required. To get the best results, try to position the subject of the photo at one of the four intersection points of the grid. I'll finish the crop by clicking this button. As the destructive checkbox is not selected, if I decided to go back to my original image, for example, to crop it again, I can just click and drag. Now I'm going to apply a brightness contrast adjustment. This adjustment allows you to adjust the image's overall lightness or darkness, which is called brightness, and the difference between the lightest and darkest parts of the image, called contrast. On the Adjustments tab on the right, click Brightness Contrast. A brightness contrast layer is automatically added to the Layers tab on the right below the Adjustments tab. This is useful because it means you can make changes to this layer without affecting your original photo. Adjust the brightness and contrast of the image using the sliders. After you've finished working on an adjustment layer, remember to select the background layer again in the Layers tab. It's easy to remove spots or blemishes from your portrait photos. On the Tools toolbar on the left, expand the Blemish Removal Tools flyout and click Blemish Remover. On the Context toolbar above your photo, set the size of the remover, which will depend on the size of the blemish. Next, click on the blemish to define the target area and then drag to select a suitable pickup area. You will see the outline target area update as you drag. Finally, release the mouse button to apply the correction. There are a range of different correction tools available in Photofix. Photofix is a dedicated studio environment where you can repair imperfections and make your images flawless. To open Photofix, click the icon on the Photo Studio toolbar. First we'll look at correcting the red eye effect. Use the zoom tools to zoom into the eye area, and then on the toolbar, choose the red eye tool. Next, Click and drag to draw a selection around the red areas. When you've finished, click Accept and then click OK. The hideous red eye effect has gone. This photo has a warm orange tinge, which is common when using artificial indoor lighting. We can reduce this by adjusting the white balance in Photofix. You can see that the white balance filter already appears in the filter stack on the right. 
By clicking to expand the presets drop down list, I can access several settings which reflect lighting conditions. For example, if your image was taken indoors, the tungsten or fluorescent presets would be ideal for reducing those effects. Alternatively, cloudy or daylight can add warmth to outdoor photos which look slightly cooler. You can fine tune your selection by adjusting the filter's sliders. The white balance has now been updated and I can click OK to return to the main workspace. Photo Plus also has a filter gallery. This is a one stop environment for adding artistic and creative filter effects to your photos. To access this, I just click Filter Gallery on the Photo Studio toolbar. Here are the different filters which can be added to your image. Today, I'm going to transform this photo into an oil painting. First, I'll expand the artistic category and choose the oil thumbnail. It may take a few moments for the preview to update and show the applied filters. You can adjust the individual settings for each filter using these sliders. To view the effects of a filter more clearly, click the before and after button. When you're happy with your selection, click OK. Up to now, when you've been saving your work, You've been working on a Photo Plus project, an SPP file. To share your finished image, you need to export it to a different file format. First, expand the file menu and click Export to access the Export Optimizer. To view a side by side preview where you can compare different file formats and quality settings, choose one of these buttons at the bottom of the dialog. Next, simply select one of the panes and from the Options tab on the left, select a file format. PNG is a good choice if you're printing your photo and JPEG is a great format to use on websites. Then you can change the format specific properties. The best thing to do is experiment and see what works best for your image. You can see the effects that the properties have on the image's appearance and file size in the preview panes. When you're happy, select the pane with the settings you want to use and click Export. Choose the location where you want your image to be exported to and enter a file name. Click Save and your project is successfully exported. To print your image, simply click the print icon on the standard toolbar to launch the print studio. From here, you can prepare your image for printing. If you had more than one image open in Photo Plus, they would be displayed here at the bottom of the dialog. You could then choose which one you want to print or even print more than one at the same time. First, from the templates drop down list on the right, Pick a category and then choose a layout. For more advanced printer options, you can expand these sections of the dialog and adjust the settings. Finally, click Print. Well, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the basics of Photo Plus. There is more information available about everything we've covered in this tutorial and also about loads of other techniques and features I didn't get time to mention. To find out more, see the Help, the How To tab or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.